Earth signs! It is your shadow of judgment. For any of you who are new to this little thingamabobber right here, this is where we look at the nooks, the crannies, the curves, the corners of what might be hidden in the subconscious, the astral, what might even be happening on your shadow side. It's all up for you to decide, really. Start the sides. We're last, as always, so we get to see what the fuck's happening with us. Yay! Taurus, you are up for your shadow. Mind you, Earth signs. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Check your charts, please. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It is just a card game. The fucking Legend of Zelda? That's appropriate for Earth signs. Motherfucker grew up in a forest. <laughs> Six of Swords, Taurus, you're looking for a reason to stay, but logic is dictating to go. Single. Like, they, like, all these people are in a boat, but here's this one single bitch. Could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, leading the way. Uh, and you might be looking that way, being like, mmm, skeptical. Unacceptable, you know. Like, it could also be the same error sign, but this could also be you looking at this shit, really examining whether you should stick around or not. Um, if you do stick around, there might be a new beginning right here. And if you go with the Queen of Swords, that means walking away from the things you love. Mm. And this shit's gotta die. This whole looking for reasons or whatever, it, it's gonna end eventually. If you do start something, it'll be like coming out of a um, bad situation. And if it's like you go this way, there is commitment. Religious factors. People you can look up to. I feel like this is more like a... Um, almost pastor or somebody you can follow for guidance. Taurus. I mean, that is you, too, so it's almost like if you walk away, you get into a great position of power. Um, religiously, spiritually, some sort of way where you're the head of everything and everyone listens to you. Good deal. But then we got, like, right here, you gotta surrender to something, man. This shit's not going anywhere. This is shit is the future. Either way, you're gonna fuck yourself up. Yeah? Okay. Well, either way, you're gonna get fucked up. So it's like, I mean, I don't know, because it's like, I don't know if this is you, Taurus. Either way, it's like ending up the same. You could take one path or the other. Either way, in the end, you surrender to this whole death shit. The things that don't happen come to happen and let the future come to be. Leave that shit alone. You're still gonna feel a little bit, you know, fucked up in the back's regard, right? Next is Virgo. Taurus, that is yours. Virgo, what is your shadow of judgment this week? Mind you, y'all, my bad. This is for the 12th to the 19th. And then it will be the 19th to whatever else it will be in like seven days after that. You know? Either way, we're starting. Okay, so Virgo, what's going on with your shadow of judgment this week? Oh, you're walking away for things that actually make you happy? After you've assessed it with a lot of passion, like you're trying to make that action happen, right? You've kept your guard out about it too. You've just been like, I ain't telling nobody shit. You want out of the mentality. It might feel like it's a little bit irrational for you. Leo, Sag, Aries, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Things just don't seem like they mesh no more. Like, you want to take a lot of passion towards this action, but it's like, there's a lot of irrationality. It's like someone's really pissed that they got fucked over, you know? Yeah, you have no passion to go back to this shit whatsoever. And that shit keeps you in a bind, and you don't want nothing to do with it no more. This over here is wish fulfillment with hubris, so no. No, um, be careful with that shit. You have nothing in common. With whoever it is you're dealing with, there's something here that you don't have in common with people. Either it's sense, beliefs, politics, whatever. 
taste, it, it's like you're, it, like you can't be together because you guys don't mesh together. You know, lover and temperance is like coming together and being a couple. Um, you want to be happy, especially after you looked over everything. Let me see what else is down here. Um, yeah, you don't care how it fucking ends, you just want it to be over. That's what you're looking at, Virgo. Like, you need to, like, it feels like you're walking away from this shit, because it's like, this headspace is just keeping you from doing anything. Like, you've had your guard up for so long that, like, I think the other person doesn't even realize that, um, you guys don't even mesh anymore. Like, I mean, like, Virgo, you're really good at putting up facades and, like, charming people. You really are. Like, you're very charming people, so it's very easy to charm people into thinking there's nothing wrong. Which I think is almost what you did here. And now you're looking over this like, ah, you know, and, and, like, I mean, like, you kind of have this feel of being irrational. Because it's like hubris. Like, yeah, I mean, like, if I do this after all this time, because it's been good times, I feel like, too. It, it, it's gonna end up really fucked up, but it's still gonna end. You know? It's like you're take, trying to take into consideration, yes, I want to be happy, but it's still gonna end up weird anyway. So you just gotta kind of decide how weird you want it to be. That's your shadow of judgment. Capricorn! It's time for your shadow. Yay. See what's going on with y'all Capricorns, possibly myself included, but hopefully not. Cause I like I I hate showing up with my shit. New beginning, new start. Ignition's in the switch. Turn that shit hot and fresh off the kitchen, mama. Rolling that body like it. Okay, cause I don't know the rest of the words. Still grieving something like a motherfucker though. Like missed opportunity you purposely passed up maybe. Maybe not consciously, but, you know, it still happens. I want to me pizza, fuck it. Um, because you were impatient? Or someone was impatient with this new star? One of the two, right? Um, the new star is a breakup? What the fuck, cats? Um, and over here, someone doesn't want to take a leap of faith because they're still fucking grieving. Now, this queen is waiting, but she is impatiently doing so. Uh, yeah, I was impatient before, but now I'm gonna just take my time. Fuck it. Uh, there might have been a separation for a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. There's also, um... Leo, Sagittarius, Aries in here as well. Um, you didn't take a leap of faith because there was nothing but fucking conflict. Okay, that makes sense. And you're waiting for bad karma to catch up to somebody. Oof. Like, it could be a Libra. Or you're waiting for a Libra or some shit. People feel left out in the cold. They want to come back in. Nobody knows who the fuck they are. And there are a lot of insecurities going on around y'all. This is either you, Capricorns, but I feel like this is somebody else, like, worried about you. Like... I don't even feel like any of this is you, really. Like, the pentacles are out here, but it's like, it, it has nothing to do with you. It's like somebody else, like, peeking in and just being like, Hey, I'm, 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 I'm right here. If you could just pay attention to me for five fucking seconds, you know? Like, I'm important, too. <laughs> this is like someone, like, um... Mm, it's not regret... It's like buyer's remorse, like you, like a trade-in, <clears throat> like someone traded in a faithful vehicle for a vehicle that uh turns out to be a waste of time. Like someone switched you out and they never switched you back.
but they expected you to come back for the switch, so it's just kind of like, what? Because, you know, Three of Wands is like waiting for your ships to come in or putting them out to see what the fuck happens, and this person hasn't done that. They've been very um, patiently waiting for ships to come in, but they haven't put anything out, which is an injustice and completely, like, irrational. And it's like they're expecting something, and now they're, like, whining because it's like they don't want to um, engage. They don't want to take that leap of faith because it's like they know that, like, there's going to be conflict. And because they know there's going to be conflict, they're going to avoid that because they don't want to look like shit and be insecure about it all. You know, like, just staring away at what happened in the past, right? Crazy tasty shit. Okay, everybody, that is the reading for Earth Signs. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like this, cool. You may like, share, and subscribe. No pressure, of course. It's up to you. If you want a personal reading, all the information is down below. First reading, of course, is on the house. I love you all. Miss y'all, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.